Hello everyone, welcome back to Subsistence. It is early morning and we don't have a lot going on today, honestly. So if you notice, I'm bringing out the level four bow. I have a couple of things in mind today. One of them is to go peek at our old friends Bravo. See how they're doing. I am bringing the lever action rifle. Oh, it's not my favorite weapon um, yet. And I say that because it could be a great weapon. It just needs a lot of upgrading. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can turn this gun into a great gun at some point. Um, I did bring the better bow, of course. I always said I would bring the better weapons when we were raiding. And I did do that. So hopefully we can take these guys out without too much conflict. Hopefully. They're way over there. I did hear a bear around here earlier. Um, that tree is in the way. Uh, this tree is not so much in the way. So it looks like they're coming out of the woodwork here. That is two down. Okay, let me retreat just a tiny bit. Ouch. There should still be one more. Can't really see him. All that great. Okay, that's four guys taken out. Let's go ahead and use a bandage and a health kit and see if we can't get our health going in the right direction here. Uh, we did need the shotgun ammo. That is wonderful. Um, I think there were two guys that I did kill from down here. Hopefully. Hmm. I see a bag right here. I did kill four guys, so there should still be a bag somewhere. I wonder if it's down here. Maybe it's a bit further over here. Quite sure there were two guys really close together down here. So here's one guy. And I don't really see a bag for the other guy. I'm not quite sure where he was. Anyway, I made some of Scotty's toys. And he likes the grenade tipped arrows. Let me go ahead and reload that just to be on the safe side of things. And let's try one more of these. Okay. That is really neat. However, I'm not quite sure what all I did break here. Okay, I can live with that. Let's get his bag as well. Padded cloth, desperately need that. Um, the shotgun shell, quite nice actually. The glass panels are also wonderful. We have enough to make something, sort of. Okay, and it's everything from there. And let's see what we have going on up here. We have some biofuel there. 
Um, we have some ores being refined here. Iron, definitely taking that. And an alloy sheet there. Very, very nice. Hopefully we can um, get the rest of the biofuel from there. Is there anything that we could potentially make here? Is there anything that we actually need to make here? I mean, I guess we could cook that fish and have it for food. It's not like we're very hungry. Maybe I should have harvested the fish oil from that. Eh, maybe that's what I'll do. Mm, could cook that steak. Just waiting on the rest of the biofuel here. Okay. I really wish I could have found that other guy's bag. I feel like it was wasted arrows, you know, killing him and not getting his bag. So there was no more um, biofuel in there. I really want to wait on that. Is that it right there? No, I don't think that's a stone. Okay, anytime now. Would be great. So you don't really need the pickaxe if you use the grenade tipped arrows, which is quite nice. Come on. You can do it. Just a little bit longer. Up. Oh, let's go ahead and extinguish that. Let's make sure we did get everything up here. I think we're doing great here. Yeah, let's check out here. Let's go ahead and extinguish that fire. It's not like they're going to be needing it today. And we are apparently going to have to leave a bag up here. Not my favorite thing in the world. But I really don't want to spend all day because I would like to go hit up the other alpha base. Maybe we'll get that done today as well. A double raid would be nice. I really do need the, the loot from that. I would love to see some iron ingots and maybe even some wooden planks. That would be nice. I know those are simple items on a wish list, but I can be hopeful. Okay, what is this? Electrical components, cordage. What to get rid of? What can I throw out? I can eat this worm. Cordage, very nice. Um, that's a chicken. I don't have room for you, chicken. Would love to have room for you, chicken, but I just simply don't have it. So, in the revenge attack from killing someone, I know we've killed someone lately because there was a revenge attack. So, in that, they did throw a Molotov over the wall and injured a, or done a lot of damage, actually. I'm not quite sure why what was the purpose of that but apparently they had a reason for it but they did do a lot of damage to a lot of things here I'm just dropping off everything and uh, let me go ahead and get these other arrows I have one more here and one more here hopefully that is plenty of arrows to take out the other base. Really hope so anyway. I probably shouldn't take that. Don't want to fill myself up with loot too quickly. I hate killing this wolf, but probably should so I can get the bag and the scrap. And let's wash our hands so we don't get infected from that. And take the scrap as well as the ammo crate here. Okay, let's run over here and pick a fight with these guys. Hopefully we'll survive it. I really am hopeful. <laughs> you never know. Mm, 
We don't have anywhere to hide over here either. We have to use a tree. Um, simply because we haven't built any type of structure yet. Um, it's just right up here. It's not too far away. I really do love where these guys decided to build this time. I really am glad they decided to build up here. Um, Albion was, the wary, was worried that they would um, build sort of down on the beach. And she says that she's had that happen to her before and it was very difficult um, dealing with that. So um, I think we got quite lucky actually that they did decide to build a little bit further away from us than um, really they could have because it wouldn't have been impossible for those guys to build on the beach. Okay. There's that, and this guy is shooting at us. Now, why would he do such thing as that? It's not polite to shoot at people. Well, these guys are not at all polite today. I really want to get that bag. Going to take some damage here. Hopefully not too much. Really want to try to get a bit closer. Don't know where the claymore is. I have no idea where the claymore is. Go away, wolf. I am about to die here. I'm going to have to re repair myself a little bit. Take that. Okay. Um, should we just try to bust in here? my mistake. I forgot to switch over to the arrows that we were using or that we actually had some to use. Okay, let's just go in here and take care of these guys. Simply don't have time for that. Trying to do a successful double raid here, guys. Can you help me out? Uh, I guess that's a no. Where are you, kind sir? Thank you very much. Yes, desperately wanted planks very very nice we ended up with 32 planks um these iron ingots are wonderful as well can't um complain about that at all we did use some of our shotgun rounds we didn't have a ton anyway so that's not too bad um we can do some ammo casings here and some nine millimeter ammo okay let's go ahead and take his fish oil for sure reload this and see what we have over here we have a bag right here and I think I switched the weapon too quickly Let's take their copper their potassium as well as their zinc and they have potassium refining here we'll leave that for just a moment we'll take their burnt steak or liver sorry and we have some more stuff that we could do around here, but, you know, I really just simply want to get back to the base. 
and see how we're doing on loot. Let's take that. And we still have some time here left to render this. Uh, there's a bag down there. I wonder where the claymore is as well. Um, scrap and some gunpowder and casings. Can't complain about that at all. Is that the claymore right over there? I'm not quite sure if that's a claymore or not. Well, it is, apparently. Okay, let's take their burnt chicken and extinguish that. Let's get up here and hopefully get the last of the biofuel and get back to our base. Um, three, two, one. No more biofuel. Okay. So let's get back to the base and see how well we did with loot. Um, we did get all of the bags from all of the people that we did kill over here. There's a crate right here. Want to get that as well. Oh dear. Um, let's see. What can we do here? Uh, let's go ahead and have the kilt. Let's see what's down here. Cordage, electrical components, and more electrical components so let's go ahead and craft some more cordage that should clear up a spot and we should be good to go there and the only base that we didn't raid today was the fortress base and there's just simply no way to raid that base or raid all of them in one day i don't think i mean some people are probably pros at this but <laughs> definitely not me i would love to get all of this ore and um, take that back to the base with me, but I don't have the room for it here. Don't really see anything that stacks either, so um, yeah. But let's get back over here and see what time of day it is. Uh, I do know I didn't pick that up because I don't have the room for it. There's a rabbit down there. Don't have the room for him either, so let's keep running. There's a piece of scrap that just spawned in right there. I'm definitely going to take it. it looks like a moose. Um, looks like there's a crate up on that rock over there. I would hate to leave it. Wasn't a crate at all. It's just some type of shadow apparently. Anyway, let's get back in here and see uh, what we did end up getting as far as the loot goes for the day. Let's wash our hands. We are definitely expecting a double attack, if not a triple attack tomorrow. So that'll be fun. We probably will bust out the 9mm just so we'll have tons of ammo to play with. And let's put the meat in here, first of all. We can put our fat away right here. And we don't have any wood to put in there on us anyway. Let's get a tiny bit of wood and fill up the fire. So, um, not including the meat that we did get and this wood, of course, right here. Everything else is loot that we did get from raiding the base or the bases. I do think I ended up bringing some of this these rifle rounds with me I'm not sure all of that is completely um, just things that we did loot I uh, don't really see any more of those adhesive Yeah, I think um, that's about it. Uh, two rogue transceivers. We did get those. We have copper and fish oil, biofuel, and some ash. Don't really want to throw all of that away, but there we have it. 
So that's everything that we did get. I do think we did really, really well looting today. Um, let's see. Do we have any time? 32 planks. Loving that. Uh, probably don't have time to get out and really go anywhere else and do... Well... Let's turn on these generators. All of them. I do have another. My base is already under attack. Wow, what's that from? I mean, really? Just don't burn up my chickens, guys. Seriously. I really think I want to mess around with this gun today. If he would stop and let me shoot him, that would be nice. Seriously, dude, stop running. I mean, you might make it out alive, I guess. Could potentially. I hope he don't think he's going to run home. That ain't happening. Why am I missing this guy so much? Okay. Was that the only guy? It's a good thing he um, was about to run away because he only had three more pistol rounds in his bag from the looks of that. However, I am quite certain that he would have had endless amounts. Let's get this potassium here. We do need to feed and water the chickens. All of our um, armor is broken. Definitely going to have to repair that. I did see a level 10 something or another over here. Um, looks like a rabbit and a chicken. And it looks like we have two more chickens left. So this is getting heavily damaged and I don't like that at all. Let's go ahead and put the rabbit meat in here as well as the chicken. Let's put the eggs away. And let's put the fat in here to render. So it's a good thing we didn't really go too far away from the base. I really don't, um, I guess that was the fortress base. Because I do think one of the guys that I did kill while raiding the Bravo base was from the fortress base. So what am I doing? You go here. And you go there. And you go back in here. I'm going to have to repair all of my weapons as well as my armor and clothing and all of that tonight. So there's that. So that's going to have to get done. Um, these three pistol rounds go in here. And the gunpowder goes in there. You and you go in here. You go up here and you go right there. There is a couple of ores in my backpack and... The animal poop goes there, and the kelp goes way over here. We have 152 kelp. That's really good. It's like 450-ish uh, um, mass, if you wanted to turn it into mass. So that's really great. I do need to get some wood and nails and repair a lot of this stuff. So wood. I'm going to take a full stack of nails. Um, not quite sure what it takes to um, repair the, the wall out there. Let's see if we have enough uh, wooden nails to repair this at least. Uh, it's definitely going to take a ton of it. Uh, I assume this is from the Molotovs. Not quite sure how they managed to um, throw them this far.
so that looks quite a bit better actually um ew. I'm gonna have to do a lot more wood chopping at some point okay let's see how the animal houses are doing they're doing great and this takes planks and nails Ugh. really didn't want to use my planks for that that window is in very bad need of repairing what does that take let's do this the easy way here girl um, it takes glass fragments and nails. Everything takes nails to repair. So let's get some planks and glass fragments. Planks. Glass fragments are over here. And I guess since we are expecting a double uh, revenge attack tomorrow, we should probably do this stuff anyway. Um, the walls probably are going to be pretty bad shape really don't want to lose any of these windows they are very very expensive to make um you could probably use one little touch up so i'm going to go ahead and end this episode here guys i want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today i really do appreciate all of your support on this channel and on this series as well um really do hope you enjoyed this episode i hope you're looking forward to future episodes and i can't wait to catch you guys in the next one until then have yourselves a wonderful wonderful day